were in East Weems in Fife, this site is associated with the Picts. Hmm. Can you tell us about the Picts? Who were they? The Picts formed one of many kingdoms in early medieval Scotland. Principally, they were a, a late Iron Age people which coalesced into quite a centralised kingdom from the late Roman period up until about the 10th century. The main power base was up in Fortra, up in the northeast Aberdeenshire area. And where we are on the southern coast here, on the Forth, this was the very southern boundary of that kingdom. And it stretched all the way up to the north, past Aberdeen, up into Orkney and possibly into Shetland. So would they have been farmers? Were they warriors? Were they seafarers? Well, they were, of course, an early medieval kingdom. Everybody from the highest to the lowest was engaged in agriculture. But it was a fearsome time as well. And fighting and warfare with the neighbouring kingdoms, both south of the Forth and to the west, to the Gaelic-speaking kingdoms of Dalriata, that was absolutely standard fare for these people. So we could be standing here and looking out over um, very well-known Iron Age fortresses or settlements across the four, looking at our enemies, literally. If you imagine here this setting behind us, imagine a nighttime scene in the dark 1,500 years ago, Berwick Law and many of these other fortified kind of areas, there would have been lights, fires, citadels, forts, all sorts. Of course, this area can be accessed at any time without any notice by raiding ships from the neighbouring kingdom. Now I can really understand why uh, you'd find a, a carving, as there is one, of a boat in one of the caves. One of possibly then a really early carving of a boat in Scotland. Very much so. The surprise would almost be if you didn't find a carving of a boat here. Stylistically, it's typical of the Northwest European tradition of boat building that time. If you imagine a Viking longship. That's pretty much the kind of thing we're talking about. That's what's portrayed there and that was the absolute stock in trade um, maritime craft that was being used in this area in the Pictish period. Have there been any archaeological excavations at this site? Uh, there have been about three programs of excavation here. Although they were very small, they really focused our attention on what this site would have looked like 1,500 years ago. And of course, we are standing now on a deeply eroded beach on a shingle and made up rock surface and so on. But 1,500 years ago, this would have been field. In fact, it would have extended probably 200 metres, possibly considerably more out to sea. And in fact, in front of some of the caves, at quite some depth under the modern day surface, we've actually found ard marks, plough marks, showing that the ground in this area, immediately out where the caves, was cultivated. But for at least the last 4,000 years, we know people have been living here, they've been farming here, they've been cultivating the ground, and laterally towards the end of that Pictish period, certainly from the 8th, 9th century onwards, the dominant use of many of these caves seems to be hermitages for early Christian reclusive activity. Douglas, thank you very much. That was fascinating.